Hello friends, here's a really simple but useful feature just added to OpenTunes. That's the easy flip and rotate for the selection and animate tools. And this is available in the latest nightly build and from version 1.7 and is here thanks to Manung John for porting this from his original work into Homer 2D. And I'll demonstrate it using this overused meme that you probably recognize. So here's the original image in OpenTunes. And to demonstrate the feature, I first use Critter, which is an amazing free drawing program to paint over the two Spider-Men to give me this plain background. And then I took the original and painted over everything except Spider-Man to give me just this single Spider-Man image on its own drawing. And then I imported them all into OpenTunes. So to use this new feature, just use the selection tool at the top of the tool list here and then select around your drawing or part of drawing. And now you can flip the drawing either horizontally or vertically using the buttons on the options toolbar here. And you can also rotate the image by 90 degrees at a time using the rotate buttons. And of course you can still use the handles on the selection to adjust the image or type into the boxes here to set a different angle. However, this is what's called a destructive operation, meaning that it actually changes the drawing. So you can't use the same drawing with the original and with the flipped image because the drawing has actually changed. So if I copy this drawing to another column by copying the column to try and recreate the meme of the two Spider-Men. And then in one of the drawings using the selection tool, I select it, move it to the left and then flip the image you still see only one Spider-Man because I've actually changed the original drawing that's shown twice in two different columns. And you can duplicate the drawing and change just one of them, but that's fiddly because this is an imported drawing, so you can't use the duplicate function. So what you have to do is to create a new raster level and then copy the original to it, and then you can duplicate it and transpose it using the selection tool. But instead of all that, you can use what's called non-destructive editing with the animate tool. So with the drawing still copied to another column, I can now use the animate tool. So let's select the animate tool, choose the all option. And in this second column, I will move him to the left. Now you can see we've got two copies of the Spider-Man here. And I can make him a little bit smaller if I want to and put him to one side. Even though his feet are chopped off, we can kind of ignore that for the sake of uh, this operation today. And then we can just flip him using the new buttons on the options toolbar. So flip him to the left there to point to the right. And obviously he can't turn around to show his front, but you can see how easily you've duplicated and flipped the column, but still using the same single drawing. And I've one more feature I'd like to tell you about, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. So do stay tuned. Because first, I want to quickly thank my Patreon supporters for all their support. With special thanks to Maria, Rodney and to Robert. Who, along with the supporters on my team mug tier, could all watch this video a week early by becoming a Patreon. And getting a download of this project, as well as other downloads, tips and behind the scenes videos. So why not check that out? And if you don't want to join my Patreon, you can always check out my Gumroad page to take a look at some other projects that you can download or take a look at my full OpenTunes course on Udemy showing how you can animate traditionally with OpenTunes. And if you want to support the channel another way, you can even treat me to a coffee. And links to all of these and my socials are available down in the description. So my final tip is a brand new update to the nightly build that includes some new cursors that you can choose when drawing. So simply change to the brush tool and then go to the preferences dialog and in the tools section you've got this section called basic cursor type and you can change it between small which looks like this the large is slightly larger and we've got the crosshair and those three were already here in the options but now you've also got triangle cursors and these are thanks to Canero, who's added these cursors to match Clip Studio Paint. And as Canero says in his PR, they're useful for cases when the drawing tablet, for whatever reason, 
due to parallax or hardware design issues where the cursor is not completely aligned with the pen tip and depending on your left or right handedness or posture you can pick any angle to help. So I think you'll find that useful as you're doing your drawings. So do download the nightly build and try out all these new features and if you want more tips for drawing in open tunes check out these videos just here. And I'll see you next time for more tips and tutorials. And that's a guarantee.